a lot of people don't realize that there's a huge amount of luck in becoming a successful scientist. You know, often with research, you know, you're trying to force nature to give up her secrets. And sometimes you have luck and you make her, and other times you can do a lot of work that seems very well directed and very sensible and doesn't produce very interesting results. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I would say make sure you're lucky. That's a really good prescription for a <laughs> successful research career. I think um, having good mentors early on, you know, really good career advice, having good colleagues. Science is a very social activity. So having the right kind of people to discuss ideas with, to collaborate with if necessary, you know, to go on the scientific journey with, uh, this is also very important. And honestly, a lot of hard work. If, if you really need to want to do scientific research, you need to have a bit of a fire inside you, I think, if you're going to maintain your motivation and keep going, because there are always setbacks. Experiments don't work, they don't give the uh, result that you were hoping for, um, funding can get difficult, your paper gets rejected, <laughs> you don't get your grant. You have to be able to get past these things, just the general you know, hazards of a scientific life. So it helps to be robust. Although there are all these challenges, there's nothing more rewarding than a career in scientific research. The excitement of making new discoveries, especially if they're the kind of discoveries that are eventually going to lead on to appliances or drugs or technologies that are going to help people. I can't imagine a more rewarding career.